Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Addison from Disney Zombies. So let's get started. To draw Addison, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come right across. About right here. And just connect it with a curve at the bottom. There, so nice round bottom of a U. From there, let's come back to where we started on this edge right here, and I'm gonna draw a circle for her eyes. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right here, close to the edge, and another circle. So let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm gonna put two smaller circles inside for highlights and then a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And I'm going to add some lines right here at the bottom. And let's do the same thing on this side. So thank you for all the requests to draw characters from Disney Zombies. And I'm sorry it took so long. I know you guys have been requesting this forever. And now that I think Zombies 2 is out, or is it coming out? I forgot if it's out already or it's already uh, or it's being planned on coming out. Decided to finally draw it. Okay, so I'm gonna round this off a little bit more. Okay, now that we have the eyes in, let's come over here and let me draw some lashes for her. So I'm going to come out with one longer one and then maybe a smaller one at the bottom underneath it and maybe one more at the top. Let's give her some, she is a cheerleader, right? So let's give her, bling her out with lots of lashes. So something, same thing over here, a longer one, a shorter one, and then maybe another shorter one right here. Okay, so then from there, let's come, well, actually, let's draw her mouth. Let's come to the center, about right here, and I'm just gonna give her a little smirk smile. It's a little bit higher on one side, and cap it off. Then let's come and draw her brow. So I'm gonna come up, say about right here, and I'm gonna go up with a slight angle, and I'm gonna thicken them up. And same thing over here. So approximately the same thing right here. And thicken them up. Okay, so we have the basic elements in for her face. Then now let's come and finish off her face and draw the rest of her hair. So now we have the face and let's come, let's imagine an oval. So kind of in the center, I'll just give myself a point right here. And I'm gonna to start to draw her hair. So let's come up with a curve and bring it right back. Same thing over here, go up with a curve and we're gonna bring it right back in. Then from there, uh, let's draw a little detail right here. I'm just gonna draw a little curve right here. It's a shorter curve. And that's because she has, I'm just gonna give her two strands of um, hair on the sides of her face. So it's gonna center line, it's come up. And I'm gonna wave this curve a little bit. So just give it a little curve down here. And we're gonna thicken our strand. So same thing on this side and curve it out so about right here and connect there okay so then from there parting lines from the center and let's see here come out of a curve 
and then the center part kind of be dipped down to go up. Center right there. And then let's come down right here. So we're gonna bring this down and bring this down. So I'm going to continue it on this side, just bring it down more. So now that we have this part in, let's finish off her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So I'm going to come right in the center, give her a little neck, and bring it out. And I'm going to start to draw her shoulders, so come out down and same thing on this side out and down and then let's come I'm gonna imagine her armpits are gonna be about right here in this area so I'm just gonna give myself two points about right there and I'm gonna draw a slight angle line down from there let's start to draw her top so I'm going to use this point right here and go up for her top on both sides. And we're going to meet in the center. So let's see here. I'm going to just give myself a point, make it a little bit easier. And come down. Same thing over here. There. And then let's bring this down a little bit more. And then she has the straps right here. So I'm going to add two straps on each side. So I mean one strap on each side right there. And then um, let's finish her top. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. But right there, I'll stop. And I'm just going to add a soft curve towards the bottom to finish it off. And then her little skirt right here. So I'm going to come in a little bit and flare it out. So same thing on this side for her cheerleader skirt. And let's bring this down a little bit more. Okay, so now that we're pretty even on both sides, I'm going to start to draw a um, curve. And it's going to be lower in the center and it's going to go right back up. But I wanted to make them pleats. So I just wanted to show you really um, quickly a simple way of drawing pleats. So let's come in and we're going to go up and across. So we're just creating these little notches as we go across. So just create curve, go up with a little notch, curve, but the whole time you're just making sure your curve is going up. Little notch, curve, and connect. So from there, what makes it look like pleats is, let's see here, we're gonna, let's start with this one so you can see a little bit easier. I'm gonna draw kind of like this two angle lines that come and connect to those little notches. So sometimes it can go all the way and hit the top. And I'm just going to bring it all the way to the top. So as you can see, my angle is changing as I draw. So this side is going to angle this way. So about right there, very lightly and here. And so one more here. So this one is going to angle this way. There. So you've got these little up and down pleats in there. So hopefully I made that easy for you to follow along. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, so we have her skirt in. Now, um, you know what? Let's continue her legs since we're down here. And imagine her hips. So about right here. And here, I'm going to start with this leg. 
So it's come down. And then on this side, it's her hip. So about right here. Just making sure it's about the same width. And this one's going to come out more on this way. Okay, so then from there, let's finish this side. I'm going to taper and get thinner as I come down. And about right there, I'll stop. And then I'm going to start to draw her feet. I'm going to flare it out. This one's going to be a little bit straighter. And right here, I'm going to round it off and connect. So on this side, it's kind of the same, but a little bit straighter. So as we come there, it's thinner. And let's start to feet. So it's going to flare out, same level. And this one's just a little bit more straight, straight on. So. Okay, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and draw some details. Curve for the bottom. Come up with a curve. And I'm going to curve it right here. Just a simple pair of sneakers and laces. So same thing over here. So this one's a little bit more straight on. And laces. So just an easy way, simpler way of drawing shoes. You can pop that out if you like. Okay, so then let's start to draw her arms. Let's come in. This side is going to be bent and her hands are going to be about right here on her hips. So I'm going to use this as my guide where her armpits are. Come down and down because I want to make sure my hands are going to hit. So about right there, I'm going to angle it a little bit. So then let's follow. So come down, approximately same area, and then start to angle it in, getting smaller right here. And as we come to this area, flare it out a little bit, and then just add a little indication of a finger right there. There. So then this side, I'm making it a little bit simpler. I'm just going to have it to the side of her um, body. So let's bring this down. It's going to kind of curve in a little bit towards here. And then flare it back out again. And let's end it about right here. So I'm going to curve it out and bring it in. A little too long, so let's see here. Bring it in a little bit more. There. Okay, so then now, finally, we can go ahead and uh, finish her hair. So I'm going to come out and just start to give more curves as I come down here. A little bit more. And then about right here, I'm just going to draw some strands and finish it off. So same thing here. So as I come to this area, it's going to be a little bit more wiggly and taper it off. And then let's see here. Okay, so we're pretty much done. And then let's draw some details on her top. So about right here, I'm going to cut it off towards the center and then come back down. And she has these stripes of color. So I'll just I'll just put in a little line right here. You can do this if you're when you're coloring it so it's not so harsh. I just want to show you there's two stripes of color or three, I forgot. <laughs> I have to take a look. And there's also stripes right here. I'll figure it out when I color it. But um, let's see here. The main thing is we're going to um, draw an S right here. Um, on the original outfit, it says Seabrook right here, but I think that's a little too complicated. So I'm just going to put an S right here. So in the college font. So it's just these straight angles. And it's so small, I'm just going to try to wing it. 
Oops, that should have been straight. <laughs> okay, so then let's come across. Okay, as long as it looks like an S, I'll be happy. And as long as I can fit it in here. Okay, something like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I totally messed it up, but that's the idea to put an S in here. I'll fix that. But um, let's put an S in here and then I'm going to come in here really lightly. Put the band of color right there. And I think that is pretty much it for my draw so cute version of Addison from Disney Zombies. I hope I made it easy for you to follow along and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.